everybody. It's great to have you here in the We Are Developers live week. Uh, we have a really exciting panel taking place now, a very important panel called Navigating Austrian Startups Through the Crisis. Um, as you have all experienced in recent weeks and months, uh, we're hitting an economic challenging times. Uh, we're going through a crisis that's very difficult uh, for large companies, small, medium-sized companies, but also for startups in Austria and abroad. And um, it's, it's great to have two very important stakeholders in the Austrian startup ecosystem joining us here today. On the one hand, we have Henrietta Egert, who's the managing director of FFG, the Austrian Research Promotion Agency. Hi, Henrietta. Hi, Ben. Good Thank to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And on the other hand, we have Bernhard Sagmeister, the managing director of Austria Wirtschaft Service, uh, a very important player in the Austrian startup ecosystem. Hi, Ben, and thank you for invitation. Thank you for joining us. So um, I'd like to hit the floor running. Perhaps you could start to tell us a little bit about FFG and AWS. Uh, what do you stand for? What is it that you do? Henrietta, please, please take take. Thank you for giving me the floor. Um, well, we as a research promotion agency, we do pr the promotion of R&D projects. Uh, that is uh, the main focus uh, we are having. That is, as a funding agency, as a national funding agency, um, we, um, we promote research, development and innovation in an entrepreneurial context at the interface between science and industry. Uh, and in the research sector, it, uh, mainly um, we were mainly uh, giving grants and uh, supplements, uh, supplement them with loans. And it's approximately in the era of uh, startups, um, 60 to 70 million euro. In total, it's uh, 600 million euro per year, mainly grants, as I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yes, and AWS uh, uh, neither stands for uh, Amazon Web Service nor for Autonomous Weapon Systems. It stands for Austria Wirtschaft Service. And uh, so we are the Austrian Promotional Bank. And uh, we step in after FFG uh, supported uh, the research of enterprises uh, uh, within the innovation uh, circle. We follow after FFG and we provide uh, financing especially also for startups, but uh, also for uh, well-established companies, uh, especially when they are taking a lot of risk by uh, developing innovative projects or uh, taking uh, huge uh, growth steps. And uh, then we step in uh, by providing grants, soft loans, guarantees, and also equity. Okay. Before we talk about um, your concrete offering for startups, could you tell us a little bit about where you see the biggest challenges and necessary measures for startups in the upcoming one to two years during the time of the crisis? Well, uh, besides equity, of course, uh, that is uh, one very important fact. And uh, uh, this is what we are both organizations probably trying in different uh, instruments to provide to, to startups and to small enterprises. Uh, but besides uh, um, the liquidity and the money, um, it's um, what, what we at least as FFG really want to, to stress is it is extremely important to stick to innovation, to also research, uh, also to uh, innovative uh, digital uh, tools and uh, methods. Because uh, after the crisis or during the crisis in the year 2008, we could see that those companies, no matter if very small ones or medium sized or industry, investing more than usual in uh, research and development, um, they, uh, they, they, they could um, 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 cope with the crisis uh, better than all the others. Uh, the, the growth was stronger afterwards, uh, they were more resilient, uh, so they, they really could cope with the crisis a lot better than uh, many other companies not investing in R&D. So that is uh, probably something which is very difficult to have in mind now because you're just uh, so much, uh, um, um, you're very busy with um, your, your clients, with uh, um, uh, allocating of, of money or funding money, raising money, 
um, um, Kurzarbeit for all of your employees. And at the same time, you should think of uh, R&D and uh, investing into innovation. Yeah? Uh, but this is where uh, the Research Promotion Agency is uh, coming in. Uh, we provide you with these grants, so we are trying to uh, reduce the risk you have as an uh, entrepreneur. Um, and um, this is very, the very strong um, effort we are trying to do. Yeah, I could repeat everything what uh, Henrette said, but I just want to underline it and especially innovation will become much more important uh, in the upcoming two years than it was ever in the past, uh, because this will be uh, really the locomotive uh, to bring us out of this crisis. Uh, but beside that, we also have to uh, take into account all the uh, usual, uh, let's say, uh, usual startups and uh, companies, uh, because they face now that their credit worthiness uh, will be lower after this crisis, and therefore it's more difficult than in the past to get access to proper finance. And we all know that especially startups uh, have always uh, huge barriers in front of them when they want to mobilize proper financing, especially bank loans, uh, and therefore uh, equity, as Henrietta already mentioned, by providing grants, uh, but also by providing risk capital, uh, will become more and more important for us to provide that uh, to the early stage companies. Okay, um, it sounds like you're really helping Austrian startups to continue innovating despite all the distractions and, and challenges that they're going to be facing uh, in the in the upcoming months and perhaps years. So um, could you tell us a little bit more about what your concrete offering is for startups? What do you offer them, especially now during the crisis, in order to help them innovate and help them stay on track with their financial stability? Well, as a general rule, uh, the grants and the, the instruments we offer are open to any topic and cover up to 80% of the project cost um, if, you are, if it's a startup. Uh, so uh, uh, the, the grants we, we, we offer to, to startups is, is covering uh, a huge portion of the costs. Of course, not all of, of it because 20% is still something uh, you have to, to uh, get the funding by yourself or as a company. But this is in general something that we can offer to uh, startups in the different instruments we have. And then we have an special uh, format which is the launch that is a small project called Small Project Client Projecte. Uh, and they help uh, startups to push ahead with R&D projects on a smaller scale, uh, even in times of crisis. Because uh, this is what I mentioned beforehand, it's, it's even more difficult now to do this investment in, in, in R&D. So we are offering a smaller version of um, of uh, grants, um, which is very fast, and you don't even need a, a business plan, um, some other factors, but I don't want to go too much into detail, uh, but uh, this is uh, really a very low scale uh, product and instrument we are offering to help uh, startups uh, during this crisis. Besides, of course, uh, all the other instruments you, you know from, from, from FFG, uh, that is impact innovation, project start, uh, uh, vouchers in the area of, of, of uh, patent, uh, innovation voucher, startup funding and market uh, uh, start. Uh, these are the other instruments. But I think as an information you need to know, come talk to, of course, uh, AWS. Uh, Bennett will, will talk about his instruments but also FFG, uh, we're really trying to help all uh, the startups in the market now uh, to stay innovative or uh, to get the, the, the funding they need or even bring them um, in contact uh, with, um, with um, other forms of funding that might be um, Red Bull or Stiftungen or whatever. Um, we, we did the matching for several uh, companies during the last weeks and some of them worked out fine. Mm -hmm. So in, in general, AWS, uh, especially for startups, uh, we provide uh, for the early stage grants and equity, but when they become the ability also to serve credit lines, then we also provide soft loans and guarantees. 
Uh, but besides uh, those financing instruments, it's also of utmost importance and uh, becomes more and more important in the future uh, to set up uh, networks for these startups, especially also to get private capital. So we run a network uh, where we interlink startups with business angels, uh, but also we established companies, not just to provide uh, also a risk capital, but much more to gain experience uh, especially how to tackle uh, the market, how to build up uh, a proper organization, especially in the scale-up uh, stage of a startup. And uh, these established companies also profit or get some benefit out of the startups by their innovative approach. So this is really beneficial for both sides. Uh, but we also have an equity platform, uh, which is called Equity Finder. So uh, each uh, equity provider here in Austria, but also abroad, uh, can meet uh, this platform, uh, the Austrian startups, uh, and uh, to uh, show up their offers. Uh, yeah, so beside all this financing, also these networking activities are very important. During this crisis, this is just in general, during this crisis, of course, uh, we have special programs uh, to bridge uh, the uh, liquidity crisis for startups and also for established companies. So we have an own guarantee product, uh, which uh, is uh, has a quota of 80 up to 100 percent, mm -hmm. up to 500,000 uh, uh, loan amount, uh, where we take the risk for uh, the uh, the bank uh, if uh, the startup fails. Uh, then the bank uh, will be covered by us, uh, by those guarantees. And last week we implemented a new fund, a so-called uh, startup uh, support fund, uh, which has an amount of 50 million euros, where we peer up with private investments, starting from 10,000 10, euros up to 800,000 euros uh, per startup. Uh, and if uh, the startup uh, is able to find a private investor now during this uh, crisis so that someone believes uh, that uh, this startup will overcome the crisis uh, in a proper way, uh, then we are able to double the amount of uh, this private investor within this range of 10,000 euros up to 800,000 euros. And we are very happy about that because uh, we see a lot of startups which develop very well, but they are hit it a lot by the crisis now. And uh, so it's re really important to uh, support them to move through this crisis. And we hope to, yeah, to support uh, many of them, uh, especially those very promising startups. Yeah. So um, thanks. Thanks for for summarizing the services that you're you're offering, especially now uh, in the crisis. We will be sharing this to all the viewers out there. You'll get a newsletter if you've registered with us on wearedevelopers.com/live. We'll send out all the information on the available services from AWS and FFG to you via newsletter, and we'll also be posting this on our social media channels regularly. So um, stay tuned. We'll keep you up to date on this. Um, one of the last topics be, before we wrap up this panel is we've been talking a lot um, with different sea levels, public policy makers, private decision makers um, about the topic of the post-crisis period. So uh, we had an interesting talk with Antonella Meiportla about the Future Operations Clearing Board, about what the government is planning for the time period when we've officially uh, you know, finished the crisis and are in the recovery phase, um, which is... Uh, forecasted to be sometime end of 2021 uh, to end of 2022. Let's see what happens. Um, difficult to, to say when exactly this will be, but from your perspective, what will be especially important in the post-crisis time period? When the crisis is over, when we're in the recovery phase, what do you think startups will have to focus their attention on in order to become successful? Well, the, probably the, 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 the elements are not so much different uh, than in, in times before the crisis, of course. I mean, it's uh, qualification, and I, I, I'd like to mention some of the qualification um, instruments we have uh, now open uh, uh, for startups to apply. Uh, that is uh, the boot camps, and that is uh, uh, qualification networks and, and seminars uh, that might help. Uh, to keep your um, your your um, 
employees on a special level of uh, especially IT know-how, uh, but also bring them to the next level, depending on which uh, kind of uh, um, instrument you're going for. But I think this is probably a very important element, how to get the right people with the right qualification or to uh, increase uh, the, the know-how your um, employees do have right now. Uh, so I think uh, this we should keep in mind besides uh, staying um, and uh, keeping up with uh, innovation um, and all the instruments which I mentioned now and liquidity, liquidity for startups. Um, uh, but, and that is probably uh, very, very um, difficult to think about right now too, that is uh, the element of internationalization. I think we need to keep all of our startups and we've been talking before crisis about uh, born globals and we were sending them out and talking about this international um, um, spirit which is so important for so many um, uh, startups to don't just think national but really global um, and I think this is uh, a, a big task for us uh, to help them find the right matches go uh, beyond um, uh, Europe and other uh, borders um, keep up with this mindset of thinking globally and uh, we do have these instruments in, in, in common, AWS and, and we with uh, GIN, the Global Incubator Network, uh, but also beyond Europe, uh, an instrument we do provide. Uh, there's Eureka, uh, which uh, helps uh, international cooperation between uh, different countries. So um, besides all the, the usual sub, sub, uh, sub, uh, subjects we're uh, talking about, to help startups, I think this international element will be important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> again, I, I could repeat a lot of what Henrietta said. And besides uh, that, of course, there will be a lot of changes the, uh, in the different sectors. For example, the uh, touristic sector, of course, will be different uh, than before. And, and there are many other sectors, uh, so we will see uh, different business models than before, more regional production and so on. So, uh, of course, there will be a lot of changes, but in our attitude to support uh, companies and especially startups, uh, there will not be so much difference than before. Of course, the intensity has to be enforced, uh, uh, mainly because uh, the access to finance will get uh, worse uh, than before, especially when we uh, will have a look on the financial statements of the companies in 2021. Those financial uh, statements will not be as proper as they have been before. And uh, therefore, it's really difficult for them to get uh, 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 commercial loans, for example, but also to get a uh, risk capital. And uh, in this uh, way, we really have to intensify our activities to mobilize risk capital, to mobilize uh, commercial loans, uh, and also to interlink uh, startups uh, with uh, established companies so that they are able to recover in a quicker way from this crisis. That will become more important than before, but it's more or less the same. Uh, these are more or less the same measurements. Uh, it's just a question uh, of in, uh, intensity. Mm -hmm. but, but Ben, maybe uh, just to, to, to uh, think of all the, the, the possibilities we have uh, as well. I mean, uh, the digita digitization uh, of, of, of many processes and uh, um, um, yeah, I mean, we, we see marketplaces, digital marketplaces, we see remote working, we see homeschooling. So the proof of concept, uh, uh, we have it right there. So I think there are quite a lot of uh, new chances also to, to keep on with this uh, digital tools and, um, well, bring them into your product lines and uh, think of new ways of uh, establishing your business or your products. And I think this is something we will both uh, um, uh, organizations support very much, and this is uh, probably strongly related to, to startups as well. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I'd like to thank you very much for, for all these inputs. Um, I think it's great that you've managed to set up all this infrastructure in such a short period of time. Um, we know that other countries are, are struggling to, 
keep up with the pace that we've you know demonstrated in Austria. So um, thanks for your contribution. Also thanks for the um, you know for the interesting uh, comments with regard to how you know startup founders uh, have to get through this crisis because they're obviously under a lot of pressure now. So um, as mentioned before, we're going to share all of the services that you've just described uh, with the startup community. Um, obviously, this, this stream is being uh, streamed across uh, over 13 million users uh, through various media platforms. So um, we hope that this will have a far reach and that we'll reach as many founders with, with the messages that you've conveyed. So thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ben.